Hello Red Eye, my name is Nick. I own Red Eye Reloading. Uh, I've been teaching people how to reload now for a while. I am a state certified teacher here in education um, and I've started using that to teach people reloading. Uh, I wanted to cover something uh, that we take for granted. Those of you who already reload are going to be familiar with this process because we have to know this in order to do uh, to accomplish this this hobby. This video today is about the firing process. So there's actually eight steps that I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to give a little bit of detail, but for those of you who are just learning how to do this, these steps are important and it's going to shed light on something you may not have considered. Okay? And those of you who are already reloaders, you might learn something too, so stay tuned. So firing process. Step one, trigger releases the firing pin. This we all understand. Obviously you have to set off the, you have to start everything off somehow, right? Um, one, trigger releases the firing pin. Two, the firing pin strikes the primer and sets off the primer. Three, the primer ignites the powder charge. It doesn't matter whether you have a lot or a little, you either use a regular primer or magnum primer, you need to set off that charge. As the powder burns, this is number four, as the powder burns, you increase pressure in the case. This is relative to how much charge, how much powder you've put in, how far you've seated the bullet, uh, it's based on volume. So, pressure, number five, pressure expands the brass to the chamber wall. That is one of the purposes of the piece of having brass. It holds the other three components together and seals the chamber. So it stops gas from going places you don't want it to go. That is why under pressure is often as dangerous as over pressure. As the brass expands, it expands first, seals the chamber, and then pushes the projectile down the barrel. So, six, gas and pressure pushes the bullet down the barrel at a high rate of speed. Depending on how much pressure is relative to how much feet per second. Seven. Once the bullet leaves the barrel, the pressure will go back down. The brass will then contract. Brass is elastic. It always has spring back, we say. Okay. Um, once the brass contracts, the extractor, eight, this is step number eight, the extractor will pull the case out of the chamber. Now, that is going to be the same in a semi-auto or a bolt action or where, whatever manual system you may have. The extractor is going to grab onto the edge of the rim of the case or the edge and it's going to remove it from the chamber. Some of you are going to say, well, there's other steps involved. Yes, I'm trying to do this in the simplest way um, in order to, to best accommodate those who are still learning. So if you have more advanced knowledge of this and you want to add to my video, please, in the comments below, take a moment and, and enlighten us. Tell me more. I would, be, I would love to have conversation about anything reloading. Um, so let me go over that one last time, okay? The firing process. Step number one, trigger releases firing pin. Step number two, pin strikes the primer, setting it off. Three, primer flame, or the spark, some people say, ignites the powder charge. Four, powder burns, increases pressure in the cartridge. Five, pressure expands the brass to seal the chamber, the chamber walls. Six, Gas pressure, gas and pressure pushes the bullet down the barrel at a high rate of speed. Seven, I don't have an extra hand. Seven, once the bullet leaves the barrel, pressure drops, the brass contracts, and it labels you to remove it from the chamber. Step number eight, the extractor pulls the case from the chamber. So, I hope I've enlightened you. I tried to make this short and sweet. I'm going to be making more in this series. We're going to give it some kind of a neat name once I figure that out. Uh, maybe we'll take a vote.